HPE Discover Las Vegas 2025. I'm your host, Keith Townsend, joined with my co-host, David Nicholson. And David, this is actually, I'm surprised, your first time meeting Patrick Osborne. I know, strange thing. Yes, very auspicious. Yeah, yeah. Senior Vice President, GM of Cloud and Data Center uh, Infrastructure at HPE. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Great show. Glad you, glad you guys are here. Welcome. Yeah. So um, you've heard of this thing called AI, I yes. assume. <laughs> Let's talk about where this finds itself into the world of operations and, uh, you know, specifically because um, I, I actually teach in uh, some executive education programs at Wharton where my students in the AI program and the CTO program are constantly asking, mm. how do I save money and or make money using AI? And they want to see companies like HPE drinking their own champagne. Oh, That's yeah. one thing they definitely want to, want to hear about. So talk to us about operations and how What's your view on AI in the world of operations? Yeah, so uh, a couple things. So obviously it's a huge cornerstone of a bunch of the announcements we made this week, uh, very prevalent. Um, so you know, in the hybrid cloud division, we're helping people operationalize AI, right? So we have a number of offerings, private cloud for AI, right? So we're taking a lot of the, um, the mystery out of deploying infrastructure and service of a number of these AI workloads. And you know, so we can get very quick uh, time to first token, time to first in inference for folks, uh, running all the software, all the runtime environment they need. Obviously, we provide you know a very scalable data plane. It's all about the data, really, at the end of the day. And one of the cool things that we announced this week is um, we started a program called Unleash AI, which is a set of um, it's an ecosystem around uh, the software partners that we have. So we announced almost 30 new partnerships here at Discover. And that's in service of a lot of customers now are, they're not so much asking us about the infrastructure, it's more about help us with the use cases, right? Some of them are very horizontal, right. some of them are very vertical, and so we want to have a very like deep and wide ecosystem. And those are all those software partners are validated on our private cloud for AI, AI offerings. Um, they work with our AI factory for you know, customers that need scale. And one of the trends we're seeing is um, it's not just in service of PC AI. A lot of the uh, folks that we work with are very interested in data, data storage, and how do you curate you know, data for um, tag it, you know, segment it for, um, you know, for use in AI use cases. So pretty exciting week. So Patrick, I've talked to a couple of the Unleash AI partners. Combo cool. Wazo is one of yeah, them. Yeah, they're uh, great. My, my good friends, Luke. Yeah, over works. there, and they uh, and they're operating across several different industries. I've seen them, uh, uh, folks like those Kamawaza guys, implement across manufacturing, yep. financial services, etc. All industries yeah, are looking weather data. They've got a lot of cool use cases, just all over the place. And as customers are looking to scale securely and both efficiency, how is HPE helping in that customer journey? Yeah, so um, when it you know when it comes to AI, a lot of the success we see with customers in their projects is when you speak in their language, right? Mm. And so partnering with folks like Kamiwaza and you know other folks in the program, uh, it really helps us to um, you know understand what they're trying to achieve, right? Could be a horizontal use case that most customers use. In in, in their case, some of them are very industry specific. Um, we come in, we partner with them, we validate their software, we test it for scale, uh, we make sure it works with the rest of the AI pipeline, right? It's not just one application. Um, we co-engineer our systems with NVIDIA, right? So you guys are very familiar with the NVIDIA Zenith partners and the blueprints they provide. So for us, we're providing a set of blueprints that are mapped to really relevant use cases for customers. And sometimes they're very vertical specific. So we take a lot of the mystery out of the upper layers of the stack. And then certainly when they run a run AI infrastructure, whether that's on-prem or in the colo, uh, we provide that to them. It's very easy to use, cloud connected through GreenLake. So um, it's a great story. So when we talk about cloud, you know, not a lot of people know this, but Keith wanted to name one of his children Hybrid Cloud, but Mrs. CTO advisor intervened at the last minute. I have, I, for the life of me, I don't know why. And wouldn't and wouldn't and wouldn't let him do that. Mm -hmm. But it, as we've watched the development of Hybrid Cloud from HPE, yes, we've watched it go from a situation where it's like, hey, we'll help you manage everything here and there. Yep. Great. You guys perfected that. Now AI gets thrown into the mix. Um, the workloads are becoming more complex. I would argue that we aren't even 100% clear what the workload that you're going to need to run is going to be six or 12 months Absolutely. from now. So 
how do you help people stay on top of modernizing their environments while maintaining a level of flexibility? I guess it's yeah, absolutely. So you know, GreenLake started off as um, you know the cloud consumption model, right? So we were very focused on the workloads and the customer's business outcomes, and we would put together a solution and architecture for that, and then you know they could consume that on a you know, unit of measure, right, a metric, uh, or even an SLA or a business outcome. And then we've really scaled the GreenLight cloud platform part of it, right? So we heard Antonio speak earlier this week where, you know, we've got over 40,000 customers. We're managing over 5 million discrete, you know, pieces of infrastructure. And that brings with it a lot of data. So we collect all the telemetry. And then now with um, our hybrid cloud, uh, the cloud ops suite, right, where we're bringing together uh, all the tools around provisioning, observability. It, it gives us a massive sort of insight into all of the workloads, the services, the application layer, and certainly the infrastructure. And now we can introduce things for customers around agentic AI, right? And so we demo that a little bit in the sphere, but this is, you know, like the first step in a very long journey to helping customers really kind of just autonomously uh, manage their workloads, you know, for, SLAs, service performance, obviously we have a huge FinOps component. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's for it's for us to help customers sort of like stop working, stop their team working on, you know, sort of very reactive type of, um, you know, things in their daily job, troubleshooting, manual tickets, and automate that so they can work on the most important projects and we take care of that for them. So Patrick, the landscape is shifting underneath IT decision makers, data center managers, they're asked to do an incredible amount, whether it's supporting AI applications or dynamically move from one VM platform to another one or modernize yep. the infrastructure. What trends are you seeing in the industry play out? So, um, you know, a couple of things are, you know, we talked about it earlier today about, you know, the great VM reset, right? Um, people are seeking some alternate runtime environments, different ways to do application delivery, whether that's uh, in containers or, you know, uh, different runtime environments, obviously in service of lowering their TCO. So that clock is ticking for customers, uh, especially in the face of they want to invest their money in other areas. We had a uh, you know a great uh, session in the hybrid cloud spotlight session where we had the CIO for the Dallas Cowboys come up and talk about sort of the journey that they've been on with GreenLake and the opportunities that ha they have. So you know it started out with football. Now they're talking about you know a next generation fan experience, support of nine World Cup soccer games next year. Did right? you know if that was recorded? Because if there were any less than twenty football analogies in that yeah. talk, I would, be, I would be disappointed. Actually, they talked a lot about, I mean, because it's a, you know, when you think about some of these modern sports teams, they're branching out significantly beyond like their core sport, right? They're in mm -hmm. service of. So it's merchandising, yeah. it's, um, you know, fan entertainment, using the stadium for other, you know. Uh, they become you know, destinations. Absolutely, and they want to really understand like all the data about their customers. So, you know, I think one of the things that uh, the customers are coming to us is like, I need to focus on those projects that are going to differentiate me, um, and all the things I can do with AI to, you know, to essentially at the end of the day, there's a huge expectation on that's going to really increase efficiency, right? And so they're coming to us saying, like, can you manage this for us? Can you help us automate using agentic AI so that we can free up resources on our team? Because if you talk to most of the customers here, they're not they're not getting a lot of headcount right, in this area. But what they're rather doing is transforming those folks to work on sort of upper level things that really differentiate their business and relying on partners like HPE to do the infrastructure management, the telemetry, the observability, making sure they make their SLAs and that's going to be on us and we can manage it for them as well. So as I said earlier, you know, hybrid cloud's been around for a while. Yes. Hey, everything going along, you know, we love, love what we do. Now AI is part of the mix. Mm. Um, Keith and I talk to people every day who tell us that while the opportunity is never greater than ever before, they also feel like the risks are never greater than yes. ever before. And we all know that it's often not just a question of technology in terms of the success of the operation, it's also people and process and all of that. Absolutely. But there's another piece to it and that is the sort of ROI TCO question and all of a sudden it's a CFO conversation. So 
So from a, from a flexibility in financing and the way that you approach this from a how do I invest my dollars perspective, yes. um, HPE has the scale to do something there. What are you doing? Yeah, so, um, you know, we're actually, you know, we're drinking our own champagne as well, right? So the folks that we partner with, we're actually implementing uh, on our own, right, to, in service of the things that we do internally, right? So we're partnering with uh, Deloitte, for example, to implement Sora, right, to help our, you know, finance teams to become way more efficient. Um, we are, when you think about just some th simple things like, enterprise knowledge management, right? And how, you, yeah. how we take all the information that we have within Hewlett Packard Enterprise. I mean, it's like a 60,000 plus person company with we you know uh, create a ton of digital artifacts on a daily basis. And so we're, you know, using AI to tag that, you know, index it, um, you know, create it often, right? Recreate it when we have new updates. Uh, and make it searchable right, with a natural language interface for our partners and our customers. So we're doing a lot of this stuff on our own. And then for our customers, you know, we are, we provide this, you know, very flexible platform with GreenLake so they can start small. Like, you know, some of the announcements we made this week, PCAI, start very small, right, with a developer's edition, right? And then we have a path forward for customers to scale up to hundreds, thousands, if not tens of thousands of GPUs. On-premises right? as well as off-premises? Yeah, and so, like, we don't, for us, it's we bring the cloud operational and the cloud consumption experience to our customers wherever they choose, right? So they have data centers that can accommodate the power and cooling for this infrastructure, great. We also have a set of like incredible partners, the Colo partners that are here this week, that we can provide that as well. And you know, a number of customers are gonna use some of the workloads that are gonna be in the public cloud as well too. So with tools like Morpheus, for example, right? You can stand up workloads and observe them with OpsRamp, whether they run in AWS, Google, Azure, right? So we provide that choice all of it managed through the same operational interface. So we, we've, we've talked about you know, the conversion from CapEx to OpEx in this space. Are you still seeing a mix of that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, some, at the end of the day, it's a customer choice, right? And um, you know, we, we, it all starts with like, what are you trying to achieve, right? And some, what are the workloads? What are the services you're going to provide? How can we help you architect to provide a set of infrastructure and software that's going to be the lowest TCO or the best ROI for you in that space? and then we can help you implement it. And at the end of the day, right, they can choose to, if they have a CapEx model, great. If they want to move towards more of a flexible model around OpEx where they can burst, uh, we can do, you know, change orders to their existing uh, infrastructure. Because like you said, like, I don't know what they're going to be running in six months or 12 months. Actually, the Dallas Cowboys talked about it. He's like, I, they could, you know, do some new business venture next year that I'm not prepared for. And so we have the ability through GreenLake to, you know, really help them scale quickly, uh, scale down, scale up, uh, depending on their business needs. Well, Dave, it sounded like Patrick could have uh, joined our conversation with Matt Kimball yesterday <laughs> on yes. just the hybrid nature of the IT infrastructure moving from this cloud first, public cloud first attitude to cloud first in support of the business. You're watching 6.5 on the road. We're bringing these amazing conversations such as the one we just had with Patrick around hybrid cloud transformations from the show floor of HPE Discover Las Vegas 2025 for me, Keith Townsend, my co-host, Dave Nicholson, and our guest, Patrick, thank you for tuning in.